finally you're awake. What? You do know that you wake up a lot earlier than I do, right? Like, every single day. And when I woke up, I was expecting to see you maybe watching something or eating something. I look to my left and you're still asleep. Obviously, I didn't wake you up because I didn't know if you were tired or if you wanted to sleep in, but, you know, since you always wake up super, super early, I felt like you deserved the extra hours. And plus, you were studying super, super hard last night, so the best thing that I can do to help you is let you get all the rest that you can get. Don't look at me like that. I'm just doing my job as a proper boyfriend to make your life a little easier. And with that being said, while you were sleeping, you kind of snored, but we're not going to go over that. <laughs> it's fine. It's just, um, I never really actually hear it. Well, I know you snore, obviously, but I never actually hear it because, like I said, you wake up earlier than me. So when I heard it when I woke up, I was kind of... I was kind of in shock, like, who is this and what did you do with my girlfriend? You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's whatever. Um, I made you breakfast. Here's avocado toast. And here is some eggs with sausages. And if you want pancakes, we have pancake mix. And it's enough only for you, which is perfect because I'm not eating anything. Well, my, my habit... When I first wake up is, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, all that extra stuff, which I'm actually surprised that you slept through all of that because I was also playing music and you usually wake up. Not that I was trying to wake you up or anything. It's just that you usually wake up over like the tiniest of noises. So the fact that you didn't was kind of surprising. But anyway, um, do that. And then I always make myself a bowl of cereal. No matter what the cereal is, well, except for maybe like Raisin Bran, because that's ill. But like most other cereals, I'll just make a bowl of cereal and then that'll be enough to hold me till lunch, no matter what time I eat it. So it's good, but I know how to cook. And I know I should cook more because eating, eating a bowl of cereal every morning going to the gym, it's not really helping me gain muscle or it's not really giving me energy. So the way that I cook for you is the way that I should be cooking for myself, but I want to spoil you and I want to make sure everything goes perfectly fine for you. So if that means sacrificing a meal for myself so that you can eat properly, then I'll do that every single day of the week, every single time without fail. (laughs) Oh, you're so cute. Huh? Oh, right. Don't you have, um, a meeting today? Yeah, I think it was two days ago. You said on this day you have a meeting with your company because you're going to launch a brand. I don't think you told me what brand it is, but I think that's confidential information anyway, so I wouldn't even want to know. Um... Which I'm gonna call it. But yeah, I'm proud of you. And I don't know what time your thing starts, but whenever you do leave and you go, you know, present or talk with these other people in power, then I know you're gonna do an amazing job. Well, yeah, um, you can go get dressed. Your food isn't gonna get cold. If it does get cold, then I'll beat it up. You heard what I said. <laughs> just just go get dressed and then when you come out I'll have something prepared for you. If it gets cold then I'll heat it up, but if you want something fresh then I'll just make something else. No, it's no problem, I swear. <laughs> okay, great. Oh my god. I know, I know. I see you get dressed for work all the time and I'm always seeing the end product, but that doesn't make it any less amazing. You look beautiful in a suit. Very professional and 
very hot, but only hot for me, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Listen, whenever I see you in these amazing outfits, I always think that you go to work and, well, one, your building is primarily men. So while I don't get to see you for like eight hour days, other men get to stare at you. And it's just, sometimes I just want to come to your work, scoop you up, and then just take you on a date. Which, obviously, I know isn't really allowed, but I wish I can do that every single day. Because you're mine, you're all mine. And the fact that other people get to look at you and drool over you, because trust me, if I'm drooling over you, other men are dying to have you. But you're mine. And you're going to be mine forever. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop, okay? Just... <laughs> Promise me you won't give anybody any of your attention, okay? Thank you. I know I say this every day, but it's reassuring knowing that you love me and only me. No, I'm serious. Like, in my mind, you are leagues above me. Like, your level of attraction, your level of prettiness, your personality, just Everything about you is damn near perfection. It's not good to call anything perfection, but you are the closest thing to it, and I'm not joking. That's besides the point. You look kind of lost. Well, yeah, you just patted around your pockets and looked through your purse. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Maybe I can help. Your lip balm? I mean, your lips look fine. But you know what? They would look a hell of a lot better in mine. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> they look and feel amazing. And plus, I had a lip balm on anyway, so me kissing you automatically put it on for you. All you have to do is rub it in. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I never get tired of it. Why would I ever get tired of you? One second. Did you just hear what you just said? You just said that you're boring, plain, and you have nothing going for yourself. Baby, you are an executive manager at one of the top 25 companies in the country. If that's having nothing going on for you, then I literally, like, what can I say? Like, I don't exist. Like, literally. If that has, if that doesn't make you important at all, then I'm not even on this planet right now. And I mean it. You have so much going for you, your looks, your personality, your laugh, your smile, the way that the kindness sparkles in your eyes whenever you look at me. Your job is amazing. You're good at your job. You're a social butterfly. You're never awkward whenever talking to people. Unlike me, I have a lot of social anxiety. But you're like peak human. Like, everything is going so right. <laughs> Again, you don't have to thank me. I'm just doing my job as a good boyfriend. Anyways, it seems like it's coming up on that time. Well, yeah, you said you have to be there, what, at five? Well, it's four, so... You should probably get... You should prob... You should probably get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you didn't finish your breakfast, which... It's fine. You had some of it, I guess. Um, actually, you know what? Here's what I can do. While you're at work, let me know like an hour before your break starts and I'll bring you something to eat. I can order something or if you want something homemade, I honestly don't mind either. You know I'd do anything for you. Okay, then it's settled. I know how much you've been craving wings for the past... 
I don't know, week. So I'm going to make you my homemade lemon pepper wings. How about that? No, I'm not going to bring you a little amount. If you want the whole batch, I can bring you the whole batch. <laughs> I know I'm just joking, but I'll make sure to bring you a really good amount so it really fills you up, okay? Okay. Now, honestly, I don't want you to be late because of me. So go. Yes, yes, I know it's my day off, but I'll find a way to keep myself busy. Okay? <laughs> okay, bye, baby. Good luck. And, um, I would say break a leg, but I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs>